Hello. My name is Shannon Kringen. I live in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. And I wanted to talk to you about censorship and free speech today. Uh, my plan is to put this on every channel that I have. I have a Facebook, a YouTube, and a BitChute. I also have a radio show called Goddess Kring Radio that's on Hollow Earth Radio, and then I archive it on my Mixcloud and my Patreon. And I'm going to see if I can talk about free speech and censorship without getting myself censored. I think, unfortunately, I can't really say what I really want to say about my opinions about the current financial takeover and medical situation that we're in worldwide. I happen to live in the United States, but this thing is affecting the economy worldwide as well as the medical situation in every country as far as I know. Maybe natives that live in Papua New Guinea are not quite as affected or people that live in the Amazon jungle, maybe they're not affected by this the way that the rest of us are that live in cities and have to listen to the dogma. I hope that I'm allowed to say what I'm saying. If this video gets erased or deleted or censored, then we'll know that it's pretty bad. But I'm not going to say anything controversial. This is not about me telling you what I think is propaganda and what I think is truth, other than I believe in free speech. And when anybody has uh, these days, if you question the status quo of what the mainstream national sponsored by large corporation media tells us, we are ostracized, made fun of. Uh, I've been told that I think the moon is made out of Swiss cheese, which is a silly idea. People are discredited. I, I personally am a low income artist and model that I live in and I live in Seattle and my YouTube channel is not monetized and I only have um, a f like several hundred, I have less than a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I don't think YouTube really cares about what I say because I don't have a large audience and I don't there's no ads on my channel. There's no sponsors. There's no monetization. I don't make any money on my YouTube. I just have it there for fun and to share. Um, I'm somebody who believes in democracy and free speech. I'm an American citizen and I realize that large corporations have power and money and large search engines, I'm not going to name any famous companies, but the largest, most popular search engine and the largest, most popular social media platforms are full of dogma and censorship in terms of if you say anything that goes against a very narrow script that is repeated over and over in the media, you are told that the fact checkers have found this to be false information. So basically we have social media and search engines telling us what we're allowed to research and what we're not allowed to research. And I'm not okay with this. This assumes that large corporations always tell the truth. And yet I know examples of large corporations that have sold products that were later to be found out as being harmful to health. And they were allowed to sell them and market them and say that and, and basically mislead the public into thinking that something was safe when it was not. And yet when people interested in health and nutrition question the current medical dogma, and medical standard of care protocol, they are called quacks. They are called crazy, paranoid, and misleading. And that is not okay with me to have people being ostracized. Let me decide for myself when I watch something. There's an obvious difference between somebody who is expressing um, 
hate or violence or things that are actually threatening, there's a difference between that kind of free speech and somebody who is genuinely sharing a different opinion that challenges the status quo and the dogma. I got rid of my television in 2007. I don't watch commercial television except for when I visit my friend who has a television. And I don't watch the commercials most of the time. And I definitely don't watch any mainstream news. And when I do, I have culture shock. I am shocked by how they repeat the same words and the same phrases over and over and over. And I'm quite sensitive to repetition because I personally, I am a very repetitious person. I, I quote Tom Petty lyrics and, Tom, and uh, Tori Amos lyrics. And I write poetry and I say certain phrases over and over and over. So I'm very sensitive and I kind of like repetition in terms of music and art and poetry. But when I'm told over and over again what I'm supposed to believe about our current medical situation and our health and our safety and what I'm supposed to think and not think, about social media platforms and pharmaceutical companies trying to sell us products and tell us that we have to do certain things or we're in danger, virtue signaling, cancel culture, people guilting and shaming each other. This is really not okay with me. I'm trying to make this video, okay, I'm just going to do a 10 minute video about free speech and democracy. And again, I'm trying to not say anything that would get me banned or deleted. And again, I don't have a huge audience, so I don't think I'm a threat to any large corporation. But I just watched something that somebody sent me and one of the social media platforms that this person shared it with me on told me that I couldn't watch it because the fact checkers said that it was false. My, my uh, concern is that I don't want social media and search engines telling me what I can and cannot watch and listen to. And I also don't want to be forced to watch mainstream corporate news that I don't think is true information. Why is it that large corporations, we're supposed to think, I'm supposed to think as an American that everything the national news tells me is true. And I'm supposed to think that anyone, even if they're a doctor or somebody with a PhD, I'm supposed to think that they're misleading me if they say anything at all that deviates from a very narrow dogmatic script that they want us to regurgitate over and over. We were told what to think and believe about 9-11, and now we are told what to think about the current situation that we're in in 2020. It is now August 25th, 2020. So we are told that we have to regurgitate and act like little parrots that repeat what the news tells us. And we're supposed to assume that everything they say is true. And if they change their mind, then we just say, oh, they changed their mind. Now it's this. Oh, they changed their mind again. Now it's this. Oh, now it's this. Oh, every single day we have to just listen like we're at the mercy of whatever they tell us. Almost like they're my, they're the big daddy or the big mommy of us. And we're just like little kids who have to do whatever they say and whatever. We have to go along with whatever the status quo is, even if it makes no sense. I believe in staying awake. I believe in using common sense. My focus, my passion in life is health and nutrition and exercise and sleep. I drink clean water that doesn't have chemicals added to it. And there's no way that anybody's ever going to convince me that I should drink water that's been treated with chemicals. And that doesn't mean that I drink any natural water that I find. I go somewhere and I get natural, natural artesian water that's been tested to make sure that it's safe, but it has not been treated with chemicals. And I don't want anybody telling me that I have to drink water that's been treated with chemicals any more than I want anyone to tell me what I have to eat and what I have to not eat and what I have to let doctors do to me or not do to me. I'm trying not to say anything that would get me deleted or banned. My main point of this video 
is to say that I believe in staying awake and questioning everything, whether it's a person with an alternative theory that people judge or a mainstream theory that I would judge. I'm very skeptical of a lot of mainstream things. I'm not a fan of chemicals. I'm not a fan of people being on like five or six or seven or eight kinds of medications that give them side effects. I'm not a fan of people who make fun of nutrition as if it's not a serious thing. I mean, everything you put in your mouth in terms of food affects your body chemistry. Just like when you take a pill, if your doctor prescribes a medication, we assume that every time we take a pill, whether it's a, a pain reliever that we buy at the drugstore over the counter or a prescription that our doctor gives us, we all can agree that that affects the chemistry of your body and your brain. And yet people that talk about nutrition, like vitamins, minerals, just regular food, eating junk food versus eating health food, eating real food made by nature that's organic, whether it's plants or animals, versus eating processed food that comes in a box that's full of chemicals and is artificial. We all agree that medication affects our chemistry. So can we please wake up to the fact that making fun of people who talk about nutrition being a serious thing that affects your health for the good or the bad I personally have a real problem with people who criticize people who think nutrition is important. Just as important as whether you take medication or not. Some medication can help you, some medication can harm you. Some food can help you, some food can harm you. All of it affects your health. The fact that there are some doctors and nutritionists that are getting in trouble for talking about the importance of nutrition in terms of our medical health in this current time and any time. There's so many different illnesses going around. This most famous illness, I'm trying not to say the word, the most famous illness that we hear about in 2020. There are many other illnesses as well going around affecting people. All of it is important. Your health is important. My personal agenda is to be as healthy as I can be. I feed my cat a raw meat diet and he's doing well. I don't feed him commercial pet food that has weird ingredients in it that I think are not good for my cat. And the naturopathic vet that I took him to agrees with me. There are vets online that I've listened to. And it's also just common sense that a cat is a carnivore and what's appropriate for my cat is not a bunch of processed carbohydrates in a can, but actual meat. This includes organ meats and bones and muscle meats ground up and taurine and vitamins and minerals for my cat. And I don't think that, it's sad that some people think that's controversial. And the, the raw meat that I feed my cat is frozen. I keep it in my freezer. And then I only thaw out a little bit at a time for him to make sure it's fresh and it doesn't spoil. And if it smells bad, I throw it out. But his raw meat diet smells good to me. It, it doesn't smell like canned cat food, which has a, a kind of weird cat food smell to it. Um, I realize not everybody can afford to feed their cat what I feed my cat, but I'm doing this so that I don't need to constantly take him to the vet. He's mildly diabetic, my cat, and he's doing well on this raw meat diet. I'm using this as an example, hopefully to not get myself in trouble. Okay, it's been about 14 minutes. So my name is Shannon Kringen. I am a fan of free speech and democracy, and I'm a fan of questioning the status quo. I will always question authority. I'm not here to spread misinformation. I'm not here to cause any harm to anyone. I'm here to reassure and encourage people to use their common sense and stay awake and don't let anybody push you around whether it's a family member or a friend or a large corporation that sponsors something and makes a lot of money off something which may or may not be healthy there's nothing wrong with corporations making money but if people's health is being jeopardized because of a corporation just wanting to make money i'm not okay with that I'm not okay with misleading information 
by corporations any more than I would be okay with it by just regular citizens like me. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a billionaire. I'm a low income artist and model and I'm not ashamed of saying I'm low income. I don't know how to make five or six or ten or twenty thousand dollars a month. A lot of people in Seattle make five or seven thousand dollars a month. That's way more than I make. I don't know how to make that much money. There's nothing wrong with making a lot of money. I just don't know how to do that and I don't think that my goal in life should be to be rich. I don't think everyone needs to have the pressure on them to try to get rich, get rich, get rich. So I'm just using that as an example. I believe in love and kindness and compassion and empathy and ethics. I don't think that capitalism should be part of our medical system. When you put profit, if profit is the main goal, if you see a patient as money and profit for a hospital, that can be dangerous. And I've heard stories recently. I won't say anything controversial right now, but I've heard that sometimes medical people get rewarded for doing certain medical things that may or may not be good for people. And you get financially rewarded for that, and it may not be in the best interest of the patient and the patient's health. And when doctors go to medical school, they are taught do no harm. So it's actually against the ethics code of medicine to do something that might harm a patient. And yet if something is financially motivated in a certain way, it might actually put people's health at risk. I hope I'm allowed to say this. I'm not saying anything specific. I'm just saying be careful with ethics. Ethics in medicine is something that I wish that we could have. Nonprofit public service medicine that does no harm would be nice. So, the way I feed my cat is an example of doing something that is common sense and species appropriate. I'm into eating healthy foods. I'm not eating, into eating chemicals. I'm proud of the fact that I'm not on any medications aside from the birth control pill. I admit I'm on the birth control pill which I wish that I didn't need, but I'm almost old enough so that I don't need it anymore. And then I won't be on any medications at all. If medication is saving your life, that's great. I'm happy for you. But if medication is harming you, then I wish that you would work with your doctor to try to wean yourself off if possible, if you can do that safely with your doctor in a way that's safe for you. Or if you don't have a good doctor, find a better doctor that you trust who's ethical if profit is the main motive, health should be the main motive. In medicine, health should be the priority, not control, not dogma, and not profit. So I think we've lost our ethics to some extent in the medical system. Just my opinion. That's my own personal opinion. I'm just a private citizen. I'm not rich. I'm not fam I'm a little bit famous, but not very famous. Um, I'm a teeny bit famous because I did a public access TV show in Seattle called Goddess Crane for 15 years. I danced around nude. I did poetry. I did music. I, uh, a lot of people thought I was on drugs, but I wasn't. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't like marijuana. I don't do any of that stuff uh, because I woo, tripped out into the camera. People thought I was on drugs or that I was high, and I just, I never was. I, I don't smoke pot. Um, just, just to let you know a little bit about me, I'm, uh, I don't even drink alcohol. I don't like alcohol, and I don't smoke cigarettes or marijuana. I don't do any drugs. I'm not even on any medication. Um, so I mostly eat healthy. I take a few vitamins, but I mostly just eat real food. And I get sunshine every single day, and I walk in the woods as much as I can, barefoot if possible. So this is just some information about me. So this video is long enough and hopefully I'm allowed to say everything that I said. And if I'm not, then that's really sad to me. Um, if we don't have enough freedom to say what I said, because I didn't say anything too threatening, I don't think, but I believe in questioning authority. I don't believe that you should just go along with everything I'm saying any more than I would think that you should watch national TV and believe everything they say. You should question everything whether it's your family, your friends, or the media telling you, or me. Question everything I say. Don't believe everything that I say. Check it out for yourself. Find out for yourself what's true and what's not. So, 
Okay, thanks for listening. My name is Shannon Kringen. I live in Seattle. I'm an artist and a model. Uh, what I mean by that is I model for artists who draw from the figure. I'm not a fashion model. I'm not perfect enough to do like, you know, slick modeling in that way. Um, but I do more earthy, natural drawing and painting and sculpture and photography modeling for artists. I've done that for many years, since 1992. Um, mostly online now, some of it in person, in, you know, with new rules or whatever. So I'm, and I do multimedia artwork, uh, poetry, music, painting, a radio show, a podcast, um, non-representational abstract expressionism, and a lot of photography. So that, that's just something about me. So thank you for listening. And I, I wish that I wish you well, I wish you peace and freedom and democracy and free speech. Uh, I wish you safety and good ethics. I wish you the freedom to follow your heart and pursue your dreams and love your family and your friends. Yesterday I got to see a camel and I photographed the camel. I'm an animal lover. I eat meat and I love animals. Uh, and I can do both of those at the same time, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. And I'm a fan of regenerative agriculture and regenerating the soil to help the earth, whether it's for plant or animal agriculture. Uh, regenerating the topsoil would help the earth tremendously and the environment and our health. I wish we could have topsoil like we had in the 1850s. Apparently it was 12 feet deep and it was amazing topsoil with healthy microbes. Um, okay, thanks for listening. Bye for now. I hope my points were clear. So do what you love. Bye for now.